Hi guys, welcome to part seven of this Fast Blast series. And today's episode will all be about making a table and that central part of the beds that uh, will support us when it all converts back to a bed. So stick around, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we've got our measurements and we're going to make that little corner piece table that I was talking about and get that in situ and then we can measure from there. So there we are, there's our four pieces cut and I've got this set up in my shed which makes everything far easier. So that's what we're looking at, everything's nice and square because we've used that mitre saw, perfect. So I've drilled my pilot holes for the screws, stopped the wood splitting, now we'll crack on and join it all together. It's always important, don't over tighten these screws because it'll just split the wood. So that's the frame finished. Let's go and have a look at it. So here we are back in the van. That frame is going to go down there to make a table for when you sat down here. Uh-oh. Back to the drawing board. I've gone wrong in my measurements somewhere. Let's go and put that right and I'll be back. Classic error. That's 40.5 centimetres. And I got to the shed and measured it at 45 centimetres. <laughs> Never mind, back in a minute. So there we are, we soon put that right. Bit annoying, but there you go. Now then, here, I've got to allow 10 millimetres for my board, which will be the centre board all the way through the bed which will also become the backrest as we know so I've got to allow one centimeter there 10 millimeters then I've got to allow an inch to the top because the mattress that I've ordered for here or the foam is one inch thicker than the mattress for this so to get everything level it's all got to be pushed down and set perfectly so I've also got a plate to put on here a bit of checker plate which will be about two mil thick so i've got two mil 10 mil and an inch or 25 mil whichever way you want to call it so i'm going to set that at that distance and i'll be ready to take the plate and leave room for me foam so that's going to be set at 37 mil that gap first of all we need to get rid of this so that's all set in place now just going to screw that in so there we are that's all fitted in now now we're going to continue to do the rails along here. So these rails are just going to go on there and across. I've got some good chunky screws to go in there. These are going to need to be strong. So first job to finish off what we're doing here and get our heights right is to make the aluminium plate which sits on there, which me and baby have decided will be checker plate. And that is going to be eight inches by 40 0.5 centimeters I'm not going to get it wrong twice or am i and yes i do use metric and imperial i don't care whichever's closest when i measure it that's what i choose that's it all marked out let's cut that out and that jigsaw absolutely eats that up a bit what a noise so we've drilled some holes nice and evenly perfect so there's our table top in place wonderful fit but first job Let's cover this and then we'll screw that on. So there we go. And to keep things nice and even, to avoid any clattering and banging from this aluminium when I'm driving, I've just gone around the edges there with a bit of scrap. And there we have it. That's the table done with the finish. Got to do something there, but we'll get to that. I'll make a little plate or something for that. Right, we're onto these railings now, along here. Right, so we've looked at them, they're a little bit long, so I'm going to take five mils off each of them and cover them and put them on, see you in a bit. Uh, and then the way you wrap these is just however you fancy. There's no hard rules, let me show you. This is how I'm doing mine, just cutting a rough length, glue three sides, stick it on and then play around with it. And there we have it, a left hand and a right hand. So there we have it, these will go something like this put them on and I've made myself a little gauge 
which is 35 millimeters. I can push on the top of that and pull up on my bar to set it where it needs to be. Let's get one on and see how it goes. And those screws went in really well. That's the one side done. So that's the rails in. So we're onto the top board now, which will drop on those rails. We will continue the rails on here a little bit and here to support it. I'll go and cut that. So this is what we're looking at, but I've made this far too accurate because when I put the cushion on there and I cover it, there's not gonna be enough room for the cover to get down the side. So I need to shave probably about 10 mil off all the way along one of these sides after I've joined them together. And then that with its cushion on will become the backrest for this seat. Let's crack on. So I forgot to record a lot of this while I was doing it. But as you can see, complete overkill. Gotta be strong. Okay, we've made the center part now. Is it strong enough? It's holding me. And I'm bouncing up and down in the van. That's fine. So there we have it. I haven't finished all of the support this end yet, but I'm gonna call that pretty much completed. So that's it for part seven of this Fast Blast video series, converting my bed my fixed bed into seats and a temporary bed hope you catch me on part eight when the foam arrives and we do a little bit more catch you later you've been watching steeder transit camper like and subscribe if you fancy it take care